what is going on everybody welcome back to 628 productions my name is tim bringing you everything thunderbird related Whew. today's a great day folks it's a great day for me personally it's a great day for the channel i told you all big things were coming i don't do very well with like holding secrets or delaying the fact of things but i just want to show you all what's going on here right in front of me here it's going to be the new garage for the channel and um, this is a dream of mine that i never thought would come true and uh, it's here <laughs> it's unbelievable i don't even know how to put it into words um i think i told you all prior you know like when things happen in my life that are like a real big moment like when i got my car back you know i said that was like marrying my wife or you know my first child like speechless moments in my life things that i didn't it really didn't think I would ever achieve them, you know? I think we all have that self-doubt. And uh, owning a three-car garage is something I never thought I'd uh, be able to accomplish. Um, in addition to that, there's like four acres apparently I own now. <laughs> right? What? Absolutely nuts. But uh, guys, I've been looking for a place to really up the channel, you know? bring it up in the notch that uh i felt it deserves um you can only do so much when you're working from your home garage with your family there your kids um you know you start a project you got to kind of have it cleaned up before the next morning <clears throat> excuse me i think i swallowed a bug while i was talking to you but you know land isn't cheap where i'm at it's very expensive and if you do find a piece of land it's usually outside of my budget and it usually doesn't come with you know a three-car garage so um the stars align that's all i can say um so man we're here um if that wasn't enough you know we, we go to closing we get all that done my wife's been super cool about this and uh like almost too cool where you're kind of like does she really just say i could buy a garage and four acres of land you know you know if you're married you know exactly what i'm talking about you're like what's the catch but she's been super supportive my family's been super supportive and, uh, you know, we get done a signing and she says, hey, come with me. We got to go somewhere. And uh, I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, am I going to get murdered now? Like, my wife don't surprise me. We don't keep secrets. We don't go, hey, drive down this little dirt road. Got something to show you kind of thing. But, uh, man, it was cool. She, uh, she went out of her way to get this made for the channel. And it's in the back of the truck. It's really heavy, but it's a, it's almost an eight foot sign with Thunderbird on it. It says 628 production. So um, what a day, guys. Oh my God, what a day. I got a garage. I got a super cool sign and a really awesome wife. I knew she was really cool to begin with, but like, I'm gonna have to like do a bunch of stuff to try to even hang with that. Cause uh, you know, we've, we've been, before we got married, we, we started dating in high school and uh usually buying gifts for one another is really hard because after 20 some years of our time together you just you got it all you know we're blessed people um you can only buy so much material stuff to sell somebody on the fact that you love them but um let me walk you through here and i apologize it's extremely echoey and um i'll be um trying not to keep yeah it's really echoing here i hope it doesn't ruin the audio but uh uh this building i just measured it because i'll be honest I, I looked at the property for about 10 minutes and i said man if i had to build this building and buy the land there'd be no way i could financially afford it no chance so i came and looked at it and uh i was sold that was about 10 minutes but essentially from end to end it's about 28 and then the full length is another like 54 based on the ruler the measurements I just got. Uh, the garage doors are 10 foot uh, openings. So again, could have probably put a fourth one if they wanted to, but uh, you know, they kind of left it there. I don't really understand the door placement. If it was me, it'd be on the other side. And again, there's cobwebs everywhere. Let me knock that down. But uh, apparently I own that land somewhere. So um, apparently I got a junk pile. See, like I got cool stuff. I've only been here I came and looked at it with my realtor for 10 minutes. I said, man, I'm buying this property. There's no way. Um, in my mind, what I gave for the property is what I financially figured it would probably cost me 
to build this building. On top of, you know, the land purchase, the grading, the clearing of the trees, you know, all the other things. Now, here's the catch. If you look around the building, there's no utilities. <laughs> So I got my garage, but I have no utilities. There's no water, there's no power, there's no bathroom, none of the country, you know, the, the comforts, the creatures, comfort creatures, creature comforts. I'll find my words. I'm just excited, folks. I don't care. I'm, I got a garage. I got a garage. I got, some, I got some hornets up there. I mean, I got a garage. So uh, super cool moment. Um, again, I'll have to go online and see you know, what a, what I tell y'all again, 24 by 58, 28 by 54, 28 by 54. I've told y'all before, I'm dyslexic. So 28 by 54, uh, it's 14 feet in the middle. There's a 10 foot wide door, some bays. Uh, it's got the one door. I went onto some website that, I don't know about you all, but man, you get on like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, anywhere, it's like, oh, we'll quote you a building and it's like, I did the specs on this building was around like 15 to 20, right? But the thing that's the kicker, like I said, then you gotta factor the concrete costs. Gotta factor all this grading and gravel and everything that's been done. So um, yeah, really crazy, right? So uh, I'm, just, I'm just blessed, man, I'm thankful. Um, my dreams are coming true because of you all. And that's the craziest thing. I didn't get on YouTube to build any kind of um, like fame or following, but it's given me, I guess, maybe the confidence and the ability to go out there and just grab it, uh, to keep things coming to you all. So, um, as excited as I am, man, this is about you all. Um, I, I just can't believe it. I'm speechless, but yeah, I got a garage, man. Got a garage. Um, if you look around me, what it really sold me is I got cows on this side. I got like some backwoods folks over here. I got a real quiet neighborhood up there and then let's go walking i haven't been back here this is all gonna be raw form content i don't even know where this property goes i have no idea but um again like i told y'all i've been looking for a piece of land a garage a place to work for about two years and uh this just presented itself as the right time right place all that good stuff so uh figure Work on clearing some of this out, maybe clean it up, give a spot for the kids uh, to camp, hang out. There's a property marker. I don't know if it's mine. I have no idea. I wouldn't think so. Certainly don't feel like I've blown through three acres of land already, but could be. I really have no clue. I don't know where it goes. Again, that's some cookware, you know? Here we go. I don't know what all these trees are, but idea here i clear out a little place uh come back here camp out with the kids you know enjoy each other um i think a reason the property was so low is it says that uh could flood i mean there's no signs of water running through here for a really long time i think it's one of those deals where if you're just in an area where it's maybe flooded once in a hundred years or something they gotta say it's gonna flood i don't see any way that that lot could ever flood but here we are oh now we're talking see i haven't even been back here these thunderbird parts and no, i'm just kidding yeah that's the front end of something so i think yeah somebody's been back here cut some trees down fresh cut my understanding is there's another five acres beyond me um that they sold to another individual i haven't met i haven't met anybody again i'm just bringing this raw form so um again really cool moment really cool moment um gonna have a lot of garage content coming up if you guys haven't really uh just thought ahead while listening to me ramble on so um again we gotta figure out the lighting right what kind of beer are they drinking around here? Let's see what we got. Oh, Pepsi, okay, all right. Pepsi drinkers were here before me, auto enthusiasts, but to get back on track, I gotta figure out the power situation. Um, I'm gonna get a lift coming, so again, we can 
get cars up in the air and actually work on them. Uh, I'm going to get the black car over here, the turbo coupe over here, my white car over here. That's going to give the wife her own garage at the at the homestead there, the property. So I won't have to hear her, um, I wouldn't say complain, but, you know, she wants a place to park her car. And uh, I get that. So it'd be nice to no longer have to hear her ask me when I'm going to be done working on projects so she's got a place to park. So, um nothing but positives today guys absolutely a great day just a great day and i hope you all are having a great day um if you got a dream <laughs> just go out there and chase it um i just heard that in a country song and it just resonated with me my wife just posted something on instagram saying this has been tim's dream for 10 years and he finally got it and damn it's a good feeling just just a great feeling guys um i mean to some people this ain't much uh, some people they'd say, oh, I don't have power. I can't do anything with that or oh, there's a pile of junk over there To me This is the greatest thing I've ever seen when it comes to my own garage <laughs> so um, Got to figure out the lighting again. This is my second time at the property. So probably get off camera. I Got to figure out some lighting. I truly didn't know any of the dimensions of the building. How this was sold was just a piece of land with an outbuilding, I think is how they uh, coined it. And I think that's how uh, legally it had to be stated or sold because of the fact that there's no uh, power, no uh, well, no septic, you know, things of that nature. So yeah, need to figure out what to do. But the uh, center of the building, that's 14 feet. So uh, getting a lift in here is no problem. Uh, most of these buildings, again, to get the taller uh, height is an upcharge. Uh, to get the 10 foot doors instead of the eight foot is an upcharge. To get the actual rolling doors, again, is an upcharge. Um, to get, you know, like the 45 right there, like the dress up around the garage door, that's an upcharge. Um, I think you get a solid door, but if you get a door or the window, up charge i kind of know where i'm going here so again i told y'all i've been thinking about this for a long time um where we live you just can't i have no backyard guys and then my property let me get some light on me my property and the reason i bought it was that it's it backs up to a, a nature uh reserve preserve Zerve or some some jank like that, right? I'm not good with words. I'm sorry. I'm just not a wordsmith. Never have been. But any kind of day, man, probably like once a week, there's a couple black bears that roll through the backyard, like 20 deer roll through the backyard. Um, my house uh, sits on like a 45 degree grade, and they just kind of built it in because I'm in I'm in Virginia. That's kind of how they do it here in southwestern Virginia. So. Garage was never happening at my home property. We were making do with what we had with the home garage. We were just kind of feeling out where this would go channel wise. It's done a lot better than any of us imagined, but you know, even the channel dud, you know, say 50 people subscribed, that wasn't gonna uh, shoot down my dream of owning my own garage. Like it's always been a, an aspiration, a dream, things like that. So um, it just worked out guys. I don't know how else to say it. I'm not a wealthy man, I'm not, I'm just making it like everybody else, you know, just living my life and uh, just an opportunity arose. And I said, hey, we gotta take this, we gotta do it. Worst case scenario, right? I don't see property losing value anytime soon with the economy we're in. I mean, heck, what I told y'all, you know, this building here, um, I couldn't afford to build the building, <laughs> let alone, you know, everything that came with it. So uh, making out all right, but uh, definitely, probably number one project and another reason i'm out here um i gotta figure out a driveway situation um i don't know if there's ever really been one this is just kind of like a path someone made through uh the grass here so i gotta figure that out and then i gotta figure it up here so i uh, see one of the neighbors out they probably hear me talking i'm gonna go introduce myself and uh i don't know what i'm about but uh i'm gonna slap this one shut here Family will be out in a little bit. I'm gonna show them around, see their thoughts on it. My mom and in-laws are real excited about it. Get y'all in a minute. All 
All right, back in the garage. I just met the neighbor. Seemed like a pretty calm, cool cat. He just wanted to know if he could hunt on my land. <laughs> and uh, I don't do hunting, so I don't care. But I uh, brought my truck in here just for sake of size and reference, you know, kind of easier to see with a vehicle in here. You know, full size expedition. I still got another, you know, 10 feet or better behind it. You know, plenty of room, plenty of room to work. And that's kind of what I was missing on. Um, what I'm thinking over here, probably a wood stove so I can heat the shop. Um, probably an assortment of um, LED lighting on the top. Maybe a ceiling fan or two. And my goal is to run all that with solar power. That's really the idea here. So um, outside of that, for the actual equipment, I'm going to get a generator. It's kind of the idea right now. Uh, reason behind the generator is it gives me a little bit of uh, versatility. Gives me the ability to move, uh, move it around. You know, so like I mentioned, maybe a campsite. If we need a generator for a campsite, we got a spot. I guess this goes up here, up to someone's house maybe. See, I don't know if this was, I don't know if that was our property and then this was the garage. I don't know if that's my junk pile or their junk pile or just a junk pile. I don't know. Don't know a whole lot about it. Um, Billy was telling me there's a real nice 10 point that, you know, uh, likes to sleep down here somewhere by the garage. He wanted to know if he could hunt it, maybe have some uh, dinner. <laughs> I'll say you go with me, buddy. Do what you want. I'm going to be over here tinkering on cars. I don't care what you do. But uh, uh, again, I got to run up the road. I got to get my son a haircut. In my excitement today, I totally forgot that that was a thing. So I'm going to go get the boy. I mean, what a park job. Look at that, man. Crooked or it could be. But yeah, we're here, man. We got a, we got a lot of stuff in front of us. You know, it isn't going to be an easy road, but at least we got a garage. We got to start. I can get all my cars in one spot, and that's just incredibly awesome to me. Um, I don't know if there's extra concrete or what's going on. And uh, also, the other thing that's reassuring about this property, that's some thick concrete, man. I don't know who poured this pad, but it's like that all the way around. It's a solid six, eight inch pad, you know. It's a big one. Like, I'm going to cut out all these trees, but I guess maybe this was extra concrete and it looks like maybe a chicken coop. I, I don't know. Again, uh, got to get over here and mow, clean things up, get some gravel laid, get some lights in, work on some solar. Lots of things to do, but uh, man, it's good to bring you all along. Again, couldn't do this uh any of this really without y'all support it's unbelievable what uh you know people on youtube uh can inspire others to do just by you guys clicking a thumbs up and uh leaving a nice comment and showing your enthusiasm in the thunderbirds like my own so it's been a real cool journey just thankful to uh, be able to bring it to you all i'm gonna go get my boy a haircut pick y'all back up <laughs>